wanted to give you an update on the worm bin and I'm trying an experiment. Uh, they say that the worms under a red light uh, don't get spooked and uh, try to run away. So I'm trying it under a red light and uh, if it works maybe you'll be able to see a little bit better what's going on in the worm bin. If it doesn't work I'll redo it under regular light. So what I intend to do today is I'm going to uh, remove the covering and uh, put some food in there and then at the same time I'm going to uh, add some more wet newspaper because uh, as you'll see when I open it up they've uh, pretty much eaten up the paper that was in there. So let's get started. Okay, you can see in this corner the paper, the top piece is almost eaten down to nothing and you can see all the little bits of goodies that they've chewed up. So I'm going to remove this as best I can. It's getting pretty flimsy. And then uh, you can see here that this is pretty well chewed up as well. This was the last batch of food I gave them a couple days ago and they're working away at that. And under here you can see quite a few digging into that batch of food. That's been there for a while. And they're up into the paper here too. I hope you can see that anyways. <laughs> and then uh, back in this corner, that's the first batch of food we put in when we first got it and that's pretty much gone. And uh, this is starting to get a very earthy smell to it which is I'm told is, is what you're looking for. And this corner there's it's almost gone there's a little bit left and uh, they're working away at that too. I'm hoping you can see that. What I'll do um, when I peel away to Oh, no, I guess it doesn't much matter. I'll pull this back. I'm going to put the food in that corner. And uh, this is all, this soil is just getting very nice and friable. And uh, the worms are just working away at it, even down there. And the further you dig down, the more, the more it smells like just rich soil. So, I'm going to put the last of the food from this bin into this corner here. This bin uh, took on a bit of a vinegary smell, which I was concerned about, but uh, did a little research and the nearest I could find was that it's probably because of some fruit that's uh, in there that has started to ferment. And, uh, which would make sense. My wife said that she put some banana in there and uh, very likely that's what the problem is. But I'm going to put this old stuff back over it and I think I'm going to be adding another tray probably ne by next week because uh, the way this stuff is getting eaten down um, I think it's going to be to the level that I need it at and uh, hopefully when when that happens then the, the worms will get start to build up their population numbers a little bit. There's plenty of them in there but um, with another tray they could certainly support a little more in the way of uh, population. Again I, I don't know how many of them uh, from the original shipment I don't know how many of them uh, made it. There seems to be a pretty good level in there right now. There's, I mean, there's plenty of worms. Of course, I can't count them, but there's an awful lot of them in there. And they're busy little critters. They really work hard. I have not harvested any castings yet. Uh, this first tray, I just wanted to get good and established, and uh, so that I can get my my worm population up and uh, make them happy and eating away. Now sometimes I uh, get worms that crawl out the bottom so oftentimes what I'll do is I'll pick this up 
take a look down there. And there is one in there. So I will rescue him. Or her. I don't know what it is. And put it in the bin. And you can see I'm starting to get some castings down in here. And uh, I'm not going to do anything with them just yet. I'm just going to leave them there for now. They're not hurting anything. And uh, let that build up a little bit. Probably when I put the second box on, I might clean that out a bit. But that's uh, that's it. That's uh, the most maintenance I've done to them uh, in a long time, probably since the last time uh, I made a video. Other than that, it's just been a matter of throwing some food in there and uh, letting them eat that and waiting a couple days and putting another batch in. So. They're, they're as far as I am for at this point. I hope this video came out because I'm not going to feed them again. And uh, thanks for watching.